Hello guys, Dr. Pajo here. So today we are going to learn the normal histology of a Philippine tubes. So for orientation, um, this is a panoramic view of a Philippine tubes. So toward this end, you can see the mouse here, is toward the outer surface where it has a visceral, uh, toward the visceral area of the peritoneum. And toward this end is the luminal part. Okay. The tube has three layers. The first layer is from here until here is what we call the serosa layer. It has a lot of uh, large and small blood vessels like this one. Okay. I just magnify it for you. So this one, this is a blood vessels within it. Few nerve muscles and uh, nerve uh, fibers here, and the outermost surface is the mesothelial, which form the visceral layer. Yeah. Okay. Next is the muscularis layer. It is starting, starting, start, starts from here until around here so within this layer there's a lot of smooth muscle fibers this is one bundles of smooth muscles this is another bundles of smooth smooth muscles there's a few bundles of smooth muscle here and there's some thick warm blood vessel that supply the the smooth muscles so you can see this uh, neutrophil, two neutrophils here, and this just uh, proteinaceous, which is the plasma, plasma of the blood within the blood vessels. And then next layer, the innermost layer is the mucosal layer. There's a lot of folds, mucosal folds. You can see here, this is one folds, this another folds. It's, it it looks like uh, papillary formations. So this fold is made up of single line epithelium. If you follow the cursor, and at the center of the folds is the fibrovascular core. See, so it has a lot of vessels within it. So this vessel actually coming come from the outer outer um, this big vessel that are located within the muscular layer then it's become branching and supply these folds so these folds or the, the mucosal folds is aligned by a single uh, epithelial lining so if you go higher there's a few types of cells few types of epithelial cells that align these uh, mucosal folds number one is the ciliated uh, epithelium so you can see when we do a higher magnification you can see this protruding like a brush coming out from the surface of the cells so this is a cilia cilia so this epithelium um, the philippine tube epithelium has a few types of uh, epithelium that align it lining it the first one is this type of cells which is the ciliated cells and the second one is non ciliated cell which is look like this one it it almost the same with the ciliated cells except it does not has any cilia coming out from it and the third types of cells is the intercalated cells the intercalated cells is actually they are thought to be uh, non-differentiated cells, which can differentiate differentiates with, uh, into uh, ciliated or non-ciliated cells. But uh, we can see this kind of cells um, lining the Philippine tubes epithelium. So this is one intercalated cells. It has clear cytoplasm. So this is the cytoplasm of the cells. It's clear, and it's very hyperchromatic nuclei. So compared to the uh, nuclei of the non-ciliated cells adjacent to it the nuclei of intercalated cells is a bit darker so when it is a bit darker uh, we use the term uh, hyperchromatic more hyperchromatic compared to the 
adjacent cells. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you understand just a simple um, lectures on the Fairbairn tube um, normal histology. With that, thank you and goodbye.